Hi guys, it's Alwanza. I am here to read to you the good news daily. And today it is, I see you moving up. The good news daily is a daily motivational written by a highly esteemed prophets, prophet Hubert Angel and prophetess BB Angel, his wife. And you can download your very own digital copy at goodnewsworld.com. All right, so I see you moving up. Let's see what they have in store for us today. The text is coming from Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow it is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. In the above scripture, the word is quickened to something that cuts. A sword. The Greek word for mouth is the word stoma, meaning to cut. Wow. The Greek word for mouth is the is the sword, is the word stoma, meaning to cut. So that's why people say you can cut people with your words. You can cut people off, you can cut people down, and people can grow from your words. Like Let's see what the prophets have because I'm like, oh my goodness, that's so interesting. It says, negative words spoken over us can cut our destiny and future. Where I was thinking it was about people, this one, the prophets are taking it, telling us to take it personal for our destiny and our future. So the things, our words can cut. I get it. I'm catching it. Y'all catching it? So our words can cut our life short, cut our destiny off, oh, cut our future oh, into something that we want to shape it into. So let's see what they say. This is why your words should always be full of faith and hope. Okay. Okay. I need to hear this. Now, I haven't read this. I'm reading it with you guys for the first time. And with faith and hope. Isn't that something? Because I didn't know they need to be filled with faith and hope. You know, it's just like, oh, season your words with grace and be positive for towards others. But for me, faith and hope for my destiny and my future. The word is your weapon to defeat and erase and cut those negative words and situations. You can believe in your heart all you want. But if your mouth stays silent, your situation will never change. So if you believe in your heart that you are going to get that um, bank loan for your home, <laughs> but you don't never speak it, confess it, or tell it, that's interesting. That's something to know. Like to speak it out of our mouth, which is something... I don't have a habit of, but after reading this, I'm going to have a habit of. Do you understand? Of what I want, what I expect in my future and my destiny. Where I'm going, where I'm headed, and how I plan on getting there. The route I plan on taking. So that's how I'm catching it. That's my revelation. Feel free to leave in your comments how you are receiving this word today. I'm going to say again, you can believe in your heart all you want but if your mouth stays silent your situation will never change the bible says that life and death are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat its fruit well he's letting us know the prophets are letting us know that life is in our tongue and we're going to eat the fruit of it so what are we speaking daily a life what is our what are we talking about regularly with our tongue are they life-giving words are they life-flowing words even usually i'm generally thinking about to others but now i need to consider myself which is something i had never i hadn't thought of before the word is the most powerful thing in the universe after all the worlds have been framed by the words spoken and you know if you're reading this and you're this far you're a believer and you know that god in genesis spoke everything into creation right the word created the world. Faith will never go beyond your confession. Faith will never go beyond your confession. Who knew? 
I didn't know that. So even though I have faith within, I have to speak it and confess it. I have to say it outside of my mouth. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's sinking in, it's sinking in. The word is falling on good ground, good ground. Speak your confession and let it make a way for you. Move on up as you speak and release power through the word over your circumstances. I see you moving higher. My goodness. I'm excited and I'm grateful for this word today. It's even making me laugh because there are a lot of things in my heart that I have never said across my, my lips. You know, I've never spoken out, but I will and I am from this day forward. And I know sometimes I get in a point like, oh, I don't have to say it. I just believe it. Or oh, it sounds foolish talking to myself that way, but then I realize I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to my world, my future, my destiny. And from now on, I will confess what is in my heart concerning them. How about you? So let's read the prophetic declaration. I'm going to say it and you repeat it after me. God wants to show off through me. It doesn't matter what has been said against me. Today, I cut every word of doubt and negativity over my life meant to destroy my destiny. I speak life today and I'm reaping the harvest. Can you imagine? I, I am simply imagining. I'm gonna read it whole and listen to it with your word. Listen to it with your ears this time as I speak these words. God wants to show off through me it doesn't matter what has been said against me. Today, I cut every word of doubt and negativity over my life meant to destroy my destiny. I speak life today and I'm reaping the harvest. If I'm reaping, you're reaping, okay? We're reapers today. We're reaping the harvest. The harvest is ready. It needs reapers. Whatever we speak, our life. So I thank God for this word. Continue reading further study, Romans 10. And verse 9, I love you guys. I thank you guys for tuning in. And until our next reading, please feel free to find Prophet Hubert Angel and Prophet BB right here on YouTube. You can find them on Instagram as well as Facebook, but on their own Christian app, Adam Graham. You can find them and me hanging out most of the time at Alwanza, at Pastor Alwanza. <laughs> And you can find them under their handles as well. So I love you guys. And until next video, see ya.